Hi guys, so on today's video, I'm going to be doing my uh, Sephora month of um, March. So this is the bag right here. Pretty cute. It has a different type of texture. And then it came with um, this, what is this? This is for my hair, I guess. Cleansing cream and a deep butter treatment. And on my lips today, I'm wearing this Tarte Lip Surgeon that I've had it like forever. And oh, it's bro it broke. Where'd it go? And that's the swatch right here. I know it seems very creamy and it has a little glitters on it, but it broke right when I opened it. The next thing I got, which I'm excited to try, is this one right here. So I guess this is supposed to uh, volumize your hair. And I did get the shampoo um, of this brand. I did make a video of it. Um, let me see how it smells. Actually, I need some volume right now. I don't know how it's supposed to work. But this smells good. Give me volume. And then I got this multi action skincare plus makeup from Dr. Jart. So, what does that mean? It's makeup? It's makeup. So I guess it's foundation. That out a little more. And then I got this mascara. I think this is the one I, I had and I actually used it all up from Lancome. Let's see. It's this way. Yeah, this is one of my um mascaras I had, I think. I can gotta double check. So yeah, I got this mascara. Also got like um a Sephora li liquid lipstick, which I lost. I don't know where I left it at, but um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I got from my Sephora bag. And I just started um, drinking Slim Fast, so I just wanted to try, um, you know, a losing weight, um, what do you call it, meal replacement um, shakes, I guess. I've been and taking these for the week. So I've been taking them for four days. They're pretty good. This one, the caramel latte, and it's pretty good. It's just that after a while, like the same taste, kind of, kind of, you get over it. So you do want to switch um, different um, flavors. At least for me, like I have to switch like different flavors. And I was just taking it like this. So I was taking this instead of taking coffee. And it does say um, it has as much caffeine as a cup of coffee. So yeah, so I've been taking it for four days. I have noticed like slight difference. Like I believe, uh, I mean, I do have a scale and my scale did say that I lost like two pounds, but it just depends what time of day it is. Um, so sometimes I weigh myself like in the morning or at night. So I think I need to weigh myself at the same time like that's what my sister told me to just weigh yourself at the same time so i'll see tomorrow what the weight is and i am trying to like um stay away from carbs so i'm not really taking any carbs so i'm not taking like like bread or um or rice like chips or any like junk like that so i just want to stick with it because like i think a lot of like like health you know diets or whatever i feel like they work it's just that you have to be consistent and you actually have to do it you know and i i myself like i have never been like really consistent and stayed with like either a diet or you know going to the gym and the diet like i did do the gym and um I don't know, I guess I, I give up very fast because I don't see results right away. Like I was going to the gym like maybe for like a month and a half and I wasn't seeing like results. I don't know, it was weird. Maybe it's because also I needed to change my diet and I know like 
a lot of people know about health and fitness and food and all kinds of stuff but it's like everyone has to do whatever works for you like you have to do things at your own pace do whatever works for you and it does also de depend on how bad you want it and what you're willing to lose like obviously like all that good food I'm gonna have to like cut back on and not eat Monday through Friday or Sunday or Saturday except my thing is I'm gonna do like a cheat meal on Saturday so every not everything but like I'm gonna have a good meal that I'm not able to eat during the week and during the week I want to keep it like just fruits vegetables um, protein and that's pretty much it and this so yeah so what I'm pretty much doing is I'm taking one of these in the morning and then I'm having snacks like fruit so I bought the chocolate flavored one and it's the powder one so that one um, I am gonna mix it with like a banana and blend it in the morning and see how that tastes and then after I'm done with that one then I'm gonna try like a different flavor because I don't want to get tired of the flavor but yeah I'll keep you guys updated so far according to my weight it says I lost two pounds and as I keep you know losing the weight then maybe I might show you guys like how much I weigh in the scale because I was thinking about it and it's like well I don't really want to show my weight but eventually I will after I feel like I've lost like maybe 10 15 pounds and I'll show you guys like my weight on in the scale and then we'll keep going from there because I'm trying to do this maybe for like um like till summertime you know like keep drinking these till summertime and then see what my next step is I am gonna try to do okay. um, some cardio like um, probably go for runs with my daughters um, or any kind of cardio activity because that does burn calories and then also um, um, so far I felt like it is working especially since I'm um, having more willpower and I'm um, excluding everything that pretty much is fattening and sticking to protein and vegetables and some I'm fruit. determined this time to stick with it for at least 12 weeks because Yay! I've never <laughs> you look cute I've never like really stuck with anything so it's like all right that's enough like it's all about willpower guys it really is so if you want to lose weight find something that works for you do it find willpower because you will do it like and I feel this way because I actually did a 15k on Sunday this past Sunday and I did no training obviously it's not like I finished in some kind of like surprisingly good time you know like I finished before other people but I still it took me a while but it was an accomplishment because I really didn't think I was gonna be able to do it and it was so tiring and I felt like fainting and it wasn't easy but I kept going because in my head was like I have to do this like I can't let myself down like I can't let my daughters down like I need to get that medal because you were gonna be you were gonna get like a medal it's a hot chocolate run so you were gonna get a medal so I was like I need to get that medal I need to finish like all these people are doing it too and they're tired too because there was a, obviously I was with the group of people that you know didn't train for it and are not runners so I felt like if I could do that and I was dying tired and my feet were killing me, especially because I was wearing the wrong shoes, I should have listened to people on how important shoes are when you're running or when you're doing a long walk, like, you know, like miles and miles. So that's when I thought like, you know what, if I stick to something and I keep doing it, then I'm going to see results. So I need to keep doing it. And I was going to the gym and I didn't stick with it but you know what that's just not something that's working with for that doesn't work for me right now because I feel like I mean I have two kids and I know other people work out with their kids or other people make it work but it's like it's just not something that's gonna work for me right now maybe later on I'll do the gym and a healthy diet who knows but for right now I'm gonna start this way so the point is, is to start to keep going, see some kind of results, and then just keep adding more to your lifestyle. Either, you know, change your diet and then start working out, just baby steps. It is a lifestyle change. 
But anyways, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to let you guys know so that you guys could be a part of my journey. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.